Hello everyone, it's Q again. In this video, we're going to learn about location tolerance and MMC. So location tolerance. It controls position, concentricity, symmetry, and its related features. So therefore, it requires datum. Let's look at the definition. Position. An extent of a feature that is out of the datum which has a theoretically accurate position. Concent concentric city. An extent of a circular center that is out of the center of circular datum. Symmetry. An extent of a feature that is out of datum which should be symmetric to the datum line or center of a plane. Let's look at the practices. First, position tolerance. There are two holes controlled by position tolerance. Here and here. And datum A is referred to this plane. So According to datum A, B, C, here the center of the true position from the datum reference frame. And as you can see now, the red circle, which is actual circle's center. And let's take a look at the orange circle's detail on the next slide. So here you can see from the datum reference frame, the basic dimension is controlled. 2020 and that is a true position which is theoretically perfect so the true position is the exact coordinate or can be location defined by basic dimension or any other dimension that represents the nominal value and here's the red circle and you can see the center of the measured circle so, in other words, the GDNT position tolerance is how far your feature's location can vary from its true position. And here's a formula of calculation for the position tolerance. And there's an example as well. And if the X value is 19.95 and Y value is 20.08, then and the calculated position value will be that much. Second, concentric city. Concentric city is a tolerance that controls the central axis of the referenced feature for datum axis. The axis for the datum and referenced feature are derived from the median points of the part of feature. So you can see uh, center of the datum which is datum D and the center of the circle that we measure here and you can see this picture right here it's exactly the same as the uh, position tolerance so the concept is exactly the same actually the next one symmetry symmetry is used to ensure that two features on a part are uniform across a datum plane. An established true central plane is established from the datum and for the symmetry to be in the tolerance, the median distance between every point on the two surface features needs to fall near the central plane. So that's the central plane right there, datum D, and then the key way we may measure and by the median points we can get the center of the keyway. And the formula of the calculation of symmetry is times maximum deviation. And geometric tolerances represents the worst condition as the measured values. Okay, we're gonna learn about MMC. MMC is an abbreviation of maximum material condition. That is the limited condition of actual parts considering mutual relation between dimensioning tolerance of part and geometric tolerance. 
So the minimum condition for assembly means it will be assembled under any conditions when assembled in this state and the basic condition for determining the tolerance value in a floating or fastening assembly assuring 100%. For an acid form, MMC is the maximum size, but for a whole, MMC is the minimum size. So, here is a practice right here, and this is whole type product. And the tolerance here, 30 diameter, and the maximum allowable size is 30.6, uh, and the minimum is 30.1. And position tolerance is controlled by 0.1 diameter, and MMC condition is applied. So this is a whole type part. So therefore, the MMC would be the smallest size, which is 30.1. So when the feature is manufactured as a 30.1 diameter, tolerance of position uh, would be giving 0 0.0. Let's look at the next slide. Let me put it in a simple way. So MMC is a condition of the most material remains after the part manufactured. Think of this as is pin type product. When the most material remaining is the would be the biggest size, but then the whole would be the smallest size. And when you when you want to apply MMC, size is required. Diameter, width of the keyway, etc. So according to the previous practice, there are three parts are manufactured. And then the first one, we measured the diameter, it was 30.1. So therefore, position tolerance will be only 0.1 applied. But then the second one manufactured as 30.6. And that would be, and the position tolerance would be 0.6. Because MMC size is at 30.1. And then the actual size is 30.6, so subtract 30.6 to 30.1, then 0.5 is remaining. So add that 0.5 to a position tolerance. So then its total position tolerance would be 0.6. Let's have another example. So this one manufactured as 30.4. So MMC size is 30.1, so subtract it and 0.3 is remaining, so add that to a position tolerance. So therefore, 0.4 position tolerance is the final given. So basically, giving bonus tolerance if the products are compatibility with each other after assembly. So it leads reduction of defeat rate. As well. Since the tolerance area is the location and the concentric city is circular, the sum of square of the deviations is root and multiple by 2. That's the formula. And then also the symmetry. Since the tolerance zone of symmetry plot is regulated only in a single direction, so that's why multiply the deviation by 2. So geometric tolerances multiply deviation by 2 because most are regulated on both sides or in a circular form, not just by deviations. So that's the important things about location tolerances. But that's it for now. I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.